Hello and welcome to our webinar, Living and Learning in Lisbon. I'm Agatha from the Admissions Office from Technic Lisboa. And today we'll, uh, we will introduce uh, you to our beautiful city and of course to the best engineering, science, technology and architecture school in Portugal, Tecnico Lisboa. Stay with us through living and learning in Lisbon. So to begin, I will tell you that Tecnic Lisboa is located in Lisbon, the capital city of Portugal. We are very well located in the world with the same time zone as the UK and Ireland. We are extremely close to other main European cities as well as strategically located in the world, which make it very easy to travel to the Americas, Africa and Asia. I'm really sorry to interrupt this webinar, but I think we got some breaking news. Uh, live from Lisbon, we have Ines with some groundbreaking information. Let's see what Ines has to say. Hello, Agatha. We are here in Lisbon, in Belém, to report that Lisbon was elected among more than 150 cities worldwide as one of the 21 places of the future, standing out for the quality of its universities, infrastructures and safety. So you may ask, why Lisbon? Lisbon is the capital city of Portugal, one of the most charismatic and vibrant cities of Europe. Portugal is also the 30th safest country in the world. Look at the sky today. This is just an example of our amazing weather. With over 2,000 hours of sunshine, we are considered one of the sunniest countries in the world. Don't speak Portuguese? Don't worry. We don't have that kind of problems here. We have high facility in learning foreign language, especially English. Enjoy the experience of living in Lisbon, starting every day with a bica and a pastel de nata. That's all for my part. Back to you, Agatha. Wow, that was quite unexpected, but thank you, Inej, for showing us a tiny bit of our beautiful city. But let me tell you, Lisbon is not only about the great views and food, we also have high quality education. The best example of this is Universidade de Lisboa, University of Lisbon, with 18 schools, 8 campi and more than 400 courses, we are the biggest public university in Portugal. Our international community has over 10,000 students. A curious fact is that we have more than 102 nationalities. As you can see, we have all areas of knowledge available for you, from engineering to law to sports, pharmacy, literature, and many, many others. However, Universidad de Lisboa, the University of Lisbon, is not only about studying, we have great sport facilities, canteens, and student accommodation available for all students. Well, let's talk now with Danny. I think he's in Technicos Lisboa uh, campus, and he has more to say about this. Danny, would you like to share with us? Hello, everyone. You know what they say? same mind and a sound body. So to help you be at your best, besides great studying conditions, University of Lisbon also provides you with all the means to keep you healthy. After a good workout, get some food at our canteens, both for lunch and dinner. Back to you, Agatha. Thanks, Danny, for the great tips. So if you wish to pursue a degree in engineering, science, technology and architecture, you can find the perfect offer right here at Technico, the School of Engineering from Universidade de Lisboa. We are the biggest school of the university, representing over 25% of its total. So if you love engineering, science, technology and architecture, get ready for the discovery of your life. Join us, come on, let's see. Well, you know that Technico has three different campi, one in Oeiras, a little bit south of Lisbon, where you will be extremely close to, be, to the beach. Another campus north of Lisbon, the campus in Lourdes, uh, where there is available a nuclear reactor for research purposes. And at the heart of Lisbon, the main campus where we are right now, 
where around 90% of the classes take place. Well, Technical uh, offers great facilities and the best academic offer. We have around 11,000 students, of which 17% are international students. Technical Lisboa has more than 700 agreements with schools and around the world, uh, and also uh, 57 double degrees. This means that during your degree, you may pursue an international experience. In what concerns the academic offer, Technical Lisboa offers bachelor, master, PhD, postdoc degrees, as well as online courses, the so-called MOOC. Technic Lisboa has 19 bachelor programs that for now are fully taught in Portuguese. It offers a wide range of degrees, starting from the most innovative ones like aerospace, biomedical or physics engineering, to the more classical ones but equally important like civil and mechanical engineering. If you wish to pursue your investment in education, you have available 28 master degrees which are fully taught in English. This will allow you to deepen your knowledge and to become one of the best in your field of expertise. During your master's degree, you will have the chance not only to have an international experience, but also to undertake a double degree, having a final degree certificate from Technic Lisboa, from University of Lisbon, and another university very well ranked worldwide. This amazing centenary institution, and let me tell you that our anniversary is coming next uh, 23rd uh, this month, uh, we don't only stand for our programs, but also for our excellent position in the world rankings, being the best engineering school in Portugal and one of the best in Europe and in the world. For a lower price, but the highest quality of an academic experience, you will become the top notch of the world. In need of a break from all the study, we all do. So enjoy the lifetime that Technico and the lifestyle as well that Technico has to offer. Check this out. If you are looking to have some fun with good music and entertainment, you can always count on Technico student parties and tunas, a group of students who play traditional instruments and sing serenades. Want to take your curriculum a step further? Join our student groups. We have over 40 in all areas, from building a Formula One race car to a solar boat. You won't have a dull moment at Technical Lisboa. I guess you can agree with, uh, with me when I can clearly say that Technical is a school full of innovation and fun. How can, I, can you not get excited on joining us? Well, but let's talk business now. Do you know if you study here at Technic Lisboa, you can be employed even before finishing your degree and also get the chance to find a job abroad? Look at this, our statistics don't lie. We always encourage our students to be the best so that they can target the companies they wish to work for and have a bright career in the future. Now, I am with all this talk, but let me show you some proof by presenting you some of our alumni. Are you ready? Diana has something to say about this. We are here today in the wonderful Alameda campus to introduce you to some alumni that have attended this school. Do you know that the first woman that became Prime Minister in Portugal was a technical Lisboa former student? Her name was Maria de Lourdes Pintasilgo and she graduated in Chemical and Industrial Engineering in 1953, at the time when a few women went into the field of engineering. Among the 250 students in this program, you can guess how many women were there? Three. That's right. Three. Are you familiar with the United Nations? Do you know that Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General, also studied here? He studied electrical engineering and graduated in 1971. Let's not forget about Technicus International alumni. Would you like to meet Rodrigo Carvalho? You know what? I would! 
Rodrigo chose aerospace engineering and he's now the founder of Nutri Ventures to pursue the dream of fighting obesity and making children help their parents change eating habits. Nutri Ventures has already reached the four corners of the world and gained the support of the former American First Lady, Michelle Obama. Also, would you like to meet Samuel Martins? He graduated in physics engineering to broaden his curiosity. The course did not disappoint him and gave him the competencies he needed to succeed. He works at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation where he manages Bill Gates projects. Wow, that was impressive. And talking about impressive, have you ever heard about our incredible innovative projects? With all the research and top of the game technique, cutting edge technology and the academic stuff of best, among the best in the world, Technico is the father of some amazing innovation projects that help society in, in general every single day. Let's have a look. Technic Lisboa has been developing research and innovation pioneer projects, contributing decisively to economic and social development of the country. Research at Technic Lisboa is organized in centers and institutes that pursue challenging research programs with a strong social impact in the fields of architecture, engineering, science and technology. Let's start with one of the most remarkable projects, our very own Gasparzin, is part of the Monarch project that is focused on social robots that interacts with children, engaging in interactive activities in the pediatrics infirmary at the Portuguese Institute of Oncology. Well, these are indeed wonderful pro uh, projects, I think you can agree with me. Well, now that you ha we have shown you all that Technic Lisboa has to offer, I bet you are eager to become one of our students. So you must be asking, how can I apply and participate in, in this amazing experience in academia? Well, always remember that the admissions office is here to help you. Uh, our team will provide you all the information and support from the application to your visa issuing, finding accommodation, and of course, we will welcome you upon your arrival. And I'm glad to now introduce to you this young but very experienced team uh, in our admissions office. Here are our admission managers and specialists. We have Diana Ferreira, we have Graça Pereira, Joana Vles, Inês Valente, and Dani Kassim, and of course, myself. Um, they, we are all here available for you, either by email, phone, WhatsApp, Zoom, Skype, or any other tools you may need us to use. I, was, I would also like to take this opportunity to inform you that if you are an international student, you can apply, apply now uh, to Technic Lisboa as the second round of applications is open and will run until the 31st of May. And of course, we are here to help you and at least four different languages. If you missed it ch this chance, don't panic, don't worry. Uh, if you still want to start studying with us in September, you will still be able to apply during the third round. Now that you know that applications are running, you may be asking, what do I need to submit for the international student applications? Well. Don't you worry, you know, Diana will tell you about everything you need to submit in order to complete your application. Hi, are you confused about what you need to submit as an international student? Don't worry, we can help you. Let's start with the documents required for first cycle, that is, if you want a bachelor degree. First, you will need a photo, preferably a recent one an up-to-date CV with all your academic and professional experience and you can also include hobbies and activities you participated in, an identification document, a passport, it needs to be up-to-date. This one is exclusive for our Brazilian applicants, but will need a copy of the CPF. Document that proves the conclusion of high school, stating that you have finished your high school education. Document showing all the subjects studied with a final average. We will need all the subjects you took in high school with its grades 
or another document stating the final global average of your high school grades. Exams for access to higher education of your country of origin. We will need the grades of Maths, Physics and Chemistry. If you are a Brazilian applicant, you will need to submit an A valid for three years. Statement under oath. Document that proves that the applicant does not have Portuguese nationality nor any other country nationality that is a member of the European Union and fulfills the requirements needed for the access and admission category for international students. We will provide you the template that you need to fill and sign or you can find it in our website. Portuguese language certificate of minimum level, B1. And finally, a bank transfer slip of the payment of the application fee, which is 100 euros per selected degree. Now, regarding documents for the second cycle, if you want to enroll in a master's degree, we will need to present the following documents. You will also need a recent photo and an up-to-date CV, an identification document, a passport, an official academic transcript records of bachelor degree with all the subjects and diploma of a bachelor degree with final average. Documents specifying the type of grading scheme of the academic records. The scale will consist of a document explaining which scale is used in the institution where you took your course. Statement under oath. Document that proves that the applicant does not have Portuguese nationality nor any other country nationality that is a member of the European Union and fulfills the requirements needed for the access and admission category for international students. We will provide you the template that you need to fill and sign, or you can find it in our website. And finally, a bank transfer slip of the payment of the application fee, which is 100 euros per selected degree. And that's it! Now that you have the information about all the fundamental documents for the application, you just need to submit them on our online platform. Back to you, Agatha! Thank you, Diana. I think that was quite enlightening. As all international student applications are running now, you might be wondering if you have the right profile to fit this status. It may be tricky due to the Portuguese laws and to the university regulations to know whether you're a national or an international student. So once again, we'll give you some tips. Inish will bring to you a report with several questions to help you understand what may be your situation. Let's get on with it. Hello everyone, I'm Inish and today I will bring you different examples where we can understand what the student status is. Am I an international student or a national student? Those are the questions. So let's start with the first question from our viewer, David, from Australia. I am 18 years old and my father has a nationality from an European Union country. Am I an international student? No, David, you are not an international student. Since you are under 21 years of age and your father has a nationality from an European Union country, you are considered a national student. Marcelo from Brazil asks, I have double nationality, Portuguese and Brazilian. Can I apply as a national? Yes, you may, because you have double nationality. But don't forget, at the time of the application, you will need to provide proof of your Portuguese nationality. Now, on to the next one. Teresa from Mexico asks, I want to apply, but I have been living in Portugal for six months. Am I considered a national student? No, Teresa. Since you've been living in Portugal for less than two years, according to the International Student Admission Regulations, you are still considered an international student. And that's it for today. I hope I've helped you clear up all your doubts. Still have questions? Contact us through our email or WhatsApp. We are here to help. See you next time. Thank you, Inej. It was clear as water. Well, let me also let you know that in our YouTube channel, we have a step-by-step -step video to guide you through our application platform. If you want to apply as an international student, you can find our tutorial in the description box. Okay? So I, have, I really hope that this video helps you make your application process easier. 
Nevertheless, don't ever forget that we are always here to help you. Now we have reserved a few minutes for your questions that came up during this broadcast. I will try to answer them as clear as possible. So, hi, uh, Joacir. And by the way, I'm really sorry if I pronounce your names in an incorrect way. Yes, uh, so we do have English uh, courses and English degree but for master's degree. Uh, for now, the bachelor degrees are fully taught in Portuguese. Uh, and from next year on, uh, we will have a bachelor degree in English. I hope it helps. Jamal Ahmed. I want to study bachelor's degree. I achieved up to A2 level in Portuguese. Will I be accepted conditionally until I get B1? Well, uh, you can apply for sure. Uh, and as far as you have B1 level by the end of the first year, there's no problem. You will be accepted and ready to start your uh, studies in September. That's an amazing question. Thank you, Jamal. Hi, Mariana. For the area of food engineering, is that a course? Yes, in the University of Lisbon, we do have one. Not here at Technico, though. But we will get in touch with you and show you all the offer we have. Isabella, hi. Are there any scholarships? Well, not directly scholarships from the University of Lisbon, but we have two scenarios which are possible. We have a document that we will provide you with a list of uh, institutions uh, that provide scholarships to students. And after being admitted and studied in the whole first semester, uh, depending on your academic uh, efficiency and how well you were during the, the semester, you can ask for a fee reduction which can go up to 50% of the annual tuition fee. But this only works for international students. I'm making this remark because, Isabella, I don't know where you're from. Joacir, again, uh, what is the tuition fee for international students and what options are available for payment? Thank you for your question. So for all international students, the tuition fee per year is 7,000 euros, and you can pay it in 10 different installments, monthly installments. Don't you worry about that. We will give you all the support regarding the payments as well. Jamal, do you have a pre-foundation year to learn Portuguese? Well, we don't. Uh, however, we may um, show you where to go if you're already in Portugal. Um, we can show you and introduce to you Faculdade de Letras from the University of Lisbon. They do have these the, uh, courses uh, to learn Portuguese, which will help you a lot. Dilson. Could you clarify whether it is already possible to apply for a doctorate in, Finnish, in Phoenix? Well, let me just say to everybody that Phoenix is the online system that all students use. Well, not only students, um, the uh, academic area as well. Everything is done there. Well, I'm not quite sure, but we can reach out to you as this. For this, you should contact directly the post-graduation office. This is hard. Wasim Awan, I hope I'm saying it right. What is the visa ratio for Pakistani students, those that want to apply for IST? Well, you will apply for IST before applying for your visa. So once you get admitted to, to IST, to Technic Lisboa, uh, we will provide you with an admissions letter that you should go to the Portuguese embassy or consulate, which is near you, uh, either in your home country or the closest one and they will issue your visa. We don't have visa ratio for any nationality. 
Thank you for your question. Isabella, again, when you mention documents that prove you have finished high school, is that the final transcript enough or do we have to attach our diploma? Yes, please attach both, the final transcript and the document proving um, that you finished as the, it can be the diploma, yes. Joacir, I haven't finished my bachelor. May I apply for a master's? Well, you may, as far as not all your bachelor is yet to do, but be aware that uh, you can either be not admitted or admitted conditionally until the end of your bachelor. It means that in September, when, a, when the enrollments happen, uh, you will have to have your bachelor degree finished already. Isabella, if the result of application come out positive, what is the next step? Perfect answer. The next step will be to reserve your vacancy for September by the payment of the two first installments of the tuition fee. With that, we will provide you all the information for you to go and take care of your visa process, uh, to initiate it, through, and we will provide you an admissions letter, um, as well as give you all the information on the documents you need to get together to present to the Portuguese embassy or consulate. And we will also give you a list uh, of accommodation providers so you can start all arrangements to come to Portugal and start your classes in time. Julien, Julien, I'm not sure, Andres Gomez. I have a question for the application. My original diploma and university grade certificate are in Spanish. Uh, there are any need to upload an official, official translation during the process. Well, uh, Julian, I'm sorry, I don't really know how to say your name. But anyway, uh, let me start with this. It's in Spanish and we don't know where you're from. If you're from Spain, you are not an international student. If you're from Latin America, then you already are an international student. So um, you should reach out to us so we can uh, help you um, checking which status of student you are first but don't worry because in the portuguese um, law for the students admissions we have uh, as you saw during the presentation we can accept um, documents in spanish wasim if i pay the 2000 euros and remaining fees can be on installments and what time will be for paying the rem okay the remaining 5000 euros so uh to reserve your vacancy uh so you can start your studies in september you will have to pay as a whole the 2000 euros but for the remaining 5000 you have installments uh throughout the academic year Are there accommodation on campus or close to the campus? Thank you, Jamal. Yes, we have uh, accommodation very close to the campus and we will provide you all the information because we have special uh, deals and contracts that benefit all technical students. Lucia Marinkovic, I hope I got this right. How does a process for the national application go? Well, Lucia, it depends if you want to study a master's degree or a bachelor's degree. Uh, it's totally different. So what I would suggest, Lucia, is uh, I kindly ask you to reach out to us through WhatsApp, email, phone, whatever you feel more comfortable with, and I'll get to you all the information. Dan Kropman. Hi, hi, hi back to right at you. I was wondering what is your view on the COVID-19 regulations regarding on-campus education? Okay, so you should know that our campus is totally safe. We have, right now I'm alone in my office, that's why I'm not wearing a mask. 
but everybody is wearing masks everywhere uh, on campus. Uh, you have all the safety measures here. Um, your fever is measured upon entrance on campus. Uh, everything is clean and disinfected very uh, often. Every time somebody uses a room, then it, the um, facility manager uh, sends someone to, to clean all the rooms. And at this moment, only lab uh, classes are happening presentially um, and all other classes are online. I should also tell you that um, up until now, our students were not affected by this changing of paradigm, by this changing of going back home to have classes online instead of in campus. Um, as the situation in Portugal and here in campus is improving and we test regularly, and by regularly, I mean more than a thousand tests are done uh, to the acad academic community per week, um, and er all the situation is improving. Uh, all the facilities are open to students. You can come and uh, um, study here, visit the campus, talk to professors already presentially. Well, starting from September, we hope that as things are uh, developing so well and people are having the right behavior, um, that we will be able to return to classes in presence. But as you know, in this pandemic situation, we cannot guarantee anything so far. So let's hope and fingers crossed. Jamal, will it be possible to start in the second semester if I get accepted? Well, Jamal, unfortunately, no. In Portugal, we only have one intake, which is the fall intake, which is in September. We don't have the spring intake. Yeni, hi, is there a possibility to get a job during studying period? Well, yes, you will come to Portugal with a student visa, which means that it will allow you to work uh, and but you will have to have the to, to communicate and to have the permission, the authorization from our uh, authorities. Maria Monica Rodriguez, I think. When do classes start in September? What day for MEJ Master? So let me just tell you that MEJ is engineering and management in energy. Uh, it's a top-notch degree here uh, at Technical. Classes will start, I think it's around the 27th of September. Um, and one week before you will have the reception week. Asa. And Asa, I'm really sorry, but I won't even try to read your surnames. It's really hard. But your question is, I couldn't get the grading system for my, from my former university. They told me it's not available, but all other documents are available. So can I proceed with the application? Asa, go ahead, proceed with your application and we will find some way to help you. Go through your country legislation to see the grading scale used uh, at your university. That can be somehow a solution or go through your um, the rules and regulations of your university or former university and they should have a, uh, an official document um, proving how they grade students. That's what we will need. Jamie. Hi, Jamie. What if I don't receive my English translated diploma before the end of the application deadline? I have it in an original language already. I'm not quite sure what you mean, but anyway, upload what you have, Jamie, and one of our amazing um, admissions manager will take care of uh, your application and will let you know what else do you need uh, to upload. If the um, translation uh, diploma, the official translation is not yet um, done, you don't have it, you can do one yourself, uh, sign it and date it, but 
uh, as soon as you have the the original translation, the certificate, the certified translation, you will have to send it to us and upload it again. Wasim, what about part-time job during study? Yes, I think I've I've said all about this. Either part-time or full-time jobs will be a little bit difficult to do at the same time as when you're um, studying a technical. But anyway, with a student visa, you can do that uh, as far as you contact our um, authorities, CEF. João Antonio Martins Adorno. João, I think you're our applicant already, aren't you? Hi. In case my citizenship process finishes on time, can I apply again with my uh, assento document? I have applied already as international and I have been approved. Yes, you will be our student. João, just so you know, if you get accepted in a, uh, a cycle of studies, let's say either a, match, a bachelor or a master's, you will remain as an international student for the whole degree. Once you change the degree, when you finish, then you will be able to be a national student with your citizenship. Wasim, will be the classes online if visa delay issue or if I do not get the visa, then the fees will be refundable. Don't worry, we always do everything we can to help uh, our students. If you get admitted, but your visa is late, we will put you in touch with all the professors so the, the classes can be streamed. Yeni, do you give some kind of guidance in the process with embassy and visa? Yes, Yeni, we have a whole document which is quite boring, but you really have to read it with all the documents that you will need to provide to the embassy. And for instance, one of them is proving that you already booked an appoint uh, an accommodation in Portugal. So that's why we already have it and provide you the accommodation providers that are certi certified by us um, and by all the authorities and have that have uh, special prices for you. Don't worry, we give you all the support. I don't know if we have any other questions, but at the moment, I don't think so. And I really hope I was able to, to help you. Anyway, uh, if you need more help, don't forget that the amazing team uh, of the admissions office is here. So don't be shy and contact us. So I would just like to thank everyone that joined us today. We were quite a few people. Uh, thank you for being on that side of the screen. And I hope to see you very soon here at Technic Lisboa. And last but not least, a huge thank you to the admissions office team who go always and with no exception above and beyond to do an amazing job every day. And I couldn't be prouder. Thank you. See you next time.